Breaking news. Tonight, the President of the United States gets those stimulus checks out. Stimulus checks are landing across the country. And finally, that $1,400 third stimulus check will be landing in your bank account. I have all the big details in tonight's mega recording. The $1,400 third stimulus checks are landing by direct deposit if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and also the Direct Express card by Comerca. Also breaking tonight is the big news about the job market and the tech rally. Jobs came in really strong on Friday and tech rallied upon the news. Why is this shocking? As the job growth continues to grow in this country, what does this mean for your stimulus and why did tech see this as a positive? Not a negative, I have all the analysis tonight happening right by the board. Also happening tonight is the real surprising developments about fourth stimulus. Joe Manchin spoke today and then had his vocalization heard as the press secretary responded to Joe Manchin's criticism of the fourth stimulus package. Is it good for you or is it bad for you? I'll have all that analysis as well. Also hitting tonight is the real surprise about monthly stimulus checks. There's a big push underway for them to be in the fourth stimulus package. I'll be explaining those monthly stimulus checks and how much they could be paying you. Also happening tonight is the big question across the board about corporate taxes. Corporate taxes are in the fourth stimulus package. The question is whether that push will go for the positive or for the negative. It's a big night with a lot of breaking news across the board. From Wall Street to Main Street, from my home to your home, let's get to it as a big night of Evening's LA starts right now. Thank you for joining me on a big night of evenings LA, direct from Los Angeles. As third stimulus checks of $1,400 land across the country from the East Coast to the West Coast, from my home to your home, a lot of breaking developments about that $1,400 third stimulus check tonight. And I have all the details starting right now. How are you? It's a big night of evenings LA. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. If you watch The Buddy tonight, today at the White House grounds, that was not me. Uh, who do you think was dressed as the Easter Bunny? when he greeted the American people. Uh, in prior years, it has been a press secretary. Do you think it was Mitch? <laughs> Some viewers of this channel think that the Easter Bunny was Mitch McConnell. I think it's a little too tall to be Mitch. Um, drop in the comments who you think that the Easter Bunny was when he addressed the American people. And guess what? I'm in the live chat, so I'm not the Easter Bunny. Say hi. I'm not your Easter Bunny. Maybe next year. Uh, so thank you for joining me on a big night of evenings at LA. It's a big night. I'll be coming in fourth stimulus, third stimulus, the standalone bills, and the other stimulus that you can get right now. So make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. Let's see if we can get to two, 3,000 likes. And if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. Well, away we went. And finally, yes, finally, with three exclamation points, those stimulus checks have landed. The President of the United States got those $1,400 stimulus checks to land like deliciousness. April 7th is the effective date for that direct deposit. Whether you're on Comerca Direct Express card or you're a big bank customer like Bank America Chase, those stimulus checks are there. They're going to be available on April 7th for direct deposit withdrawal. If you're a mail recipient, I'll be covering your stimulus checks ending as well. But here's what you need to know. On Friday, the Treasury sent out a round of stimulus checks, and those stimulus checks hit across the country. Certain banks released the funds on Friday. Those banks were TurboTax, H&R Block, Green Emerald Card. Also, NetSpend, MetaBank, Green Dot, and other smaller banks. If those are the banks that you bank at, you would have had the funds by today. So if you have not seen the funds, then it's likely coming by direct by mail. Those banks included, again, Cash App, Chime, Cream Dot, and NetSpend, MetaBank, and TurboTax. You would see those funds available now. Everyone else, congratulations, because your funds will be landing on April 7th. 
Those funds will be available for withdrawal on Wednesday, April 7th. This includes also veterans. The great news formulated over the weekend reported exclusively on this channel is that veterans have direct deposits pending for April 7th. I've seen the messages from my veterans viewers. Congratulations. You won't have to wait till mid-April. People who file tax returns, people who don't have filed tax returns, people on benefits, people not on benefits. The stimulus checks are landed and available on Wednesday. Meantime, if you went to the IRS tool on Saturday and had no information about you, don't worry, because 50% of the viewers, the tool will not work. But we have two hacks for you later in this video. Later in this video, I will have two hacks for you about how to get information from the tool if the tool has no results for you. Those hacks give you incredible information how to know when that stimulus check is landing. But this is what you need to know. On Wednesday, April 7th, the stimulus checks will be available to the viewers of this channel who haven't got to that stimulus check for withdrawal from direct deposit. The mail check recipients are April 9th this week. And then those March 26th checks finally are landing more in the mailbox today. So if you're a March 26th check re mail recipient, don't worry. Hundreds of viewers of this channel saw it land today. It will land tomorrow. And then those April 2nd to April 5th check mail recipients, those are landing this week as well. I'll have more about these $14 stimulus checks later in this video, and I'll also be cutting to the third stimulus items. But let me cut to the other surprising developing news that formulated out of nowhere today, which was the jobs numbers and the reaction from Wall Street. On Friday, the jobs numbers were revealed, and those job numbers have every possible impact you can imagine on your stimulus. The President of the United States addressed those job numbers on Friday. And what did they show? They showed incredible growth of this economy. Ultimately, stimulus is gauged based upon how many jobs are missing. There's currently 8 million jobs missing in the American public. Well, on Friday, the job numbers revealed that there's 1 million jobs being generated per month. That would suggest eight months until the jobs are restored. Well, there's a trick and there's a catch. A series of reports now suggest that we could be restoring 2 million jobs per month in the month of April. If that's true, we could be back to normal in four months. This has everything to do with your fourth stimulus package, which I'll be getting to in a second. But what did Wall Street think about the jobs numbers? Did they think it was too robust? Did, was there inflationary concerns? Was there concerns as too much growth? No. Surprisingly, Wall Street liked the news and did not fear the news. There was a massive tech rally today. Facebook up 3.3% to $308 a share. Alphabet, the parent of Google on this channel, went up 3.2% to $2,198 a share. Or I should say the, the, the platform, not this channel. And Microsoft up 2.6% for the day, or $248 a share. These were where the, the technology companies were trading throughout the day. This big tech rally is a big issue because as we go into the next phase, the big question is for stimulus. For stimulus is gauged upon a series of factors. And that for stimulus is gauged upon the big question of when and where. Here's what you need to know when we're talking about for stimulus. For stimulus is dependent upon where the economy is when the bill is voted upon. So when's the bill going to be voted upon and how's it going to be voted upon? Let me explain. Four stimulus will be voted upon by reconciliation if it's done by reconciliation about two to three months out from now. That's what you want to hope. Why? Because what I'm about to get to, multiple reoccurring stimulus checks. Well, if four million jobs are generated in this, if two million jobs are generated in this economy this month, that would mean that in four months, this economy could be back to normal. And at that point, would people want to give you stimulus checks if the economy is back to normal and the jobs are restored? No. Four months from now, April, May, June, July, or potentially August, you want this fourth stimulus bill in the Senate as soon as possible while those jobs are not restored. Because once they're restored, people may not want to give you stimulus. And then there was the big other questions that hit today as well, which is the big question across the board about those reoccurring stimulus checks. How much are those reoccurring stimulus checks and how do they work? Let me go over the analysis for you. Those reoccurring stimulus checks would be paying a lot of money. 21 of 40 Democrats want to pay you a monthly stimulus check the rest of this year. Well, they got the bill out the, out the door, signed and sealed and delivered in the month of June. Then the stimulus checks would start in July. $2,000 a month would be $12,000. $14 stimulus checks a month would be $8,000. 
This is a huge amount of money. Ultimately, you want this bill in the Senate as soon as possible so that the bill can be done as quickly across the board. I'll be analyzing more about these reoccurring stimulus checks in a second. But here is a surprise development tonight, which is the questions about the corporate battle. There's a corporate tax battle already brewing today, and the corporate tax battle is embedded in the fourth stimulus package. The President of the United States, when addressing the Easter Bunny today, no joke, <laughs> when saying hi to the Easter Bunny, a reporter got the President to answer a question about the corporate tax rate in the fourth stimulus package. And the President said, there's no evidence that increase in the corporate tax rate would lose corporations across the board. Well, that comment was quickly contradicted by the Treasury Secretary, who says she wants to reach out to foreign countries and have them raise the corporate tax rate so that there's not going to be a change across the board. This is what she said in her message. Her message was that she's going to reach out to G20 countries and have them raise the corporate tax rate so that there's not a race to the bottle. Sound contradictory? It is. Let me explain what's going on. The president's four stimulus package raises the corporate tax rate from 21 to 28 percent. The president, uh, the presidency under Trump dropped the corporate tax rate from 33 percent to 21 percent. Internationally, most corporate corporate tax rates overseas are about 25 percent. On the low end, they're at 10 percent. Well, today, the president was asked, will companies fly over, move their operations overseas, losing American jobs if you raise the corporate tax rate? He said no in that comment. And then Janet Yellen contradicted him by saying, I'm going to reach out to foreign countries and tell them to raise their corporate tax rate. Uh, Earth to Mars, <laughs> they're not going to listen to you about their corporate tax rate. They're going to do what they want to do, not what an American tells them to do. So hence started the contradictions. But here's what you need to know. The pushback already started, and the pushback came with exactly who you thought would push back, Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin fired back today and said the bill will never see light of day under his watch because of the 28% corporate tax rate. As the bill exists today, Joe Manchin says, it needs to be changed. I think it should have never been under 25%, the tax bracket, under, under Trump. That's the worldwide average. So Manchin is basically saying that Trump should not have lowered it below 25%, but that at 28%, he's not going to support it under the president. Well, that's a big question across the board. And the question is, how does that impact multiple stimulus checks? Let me explain what's going on. $1,400 third stimulus checks is a great amount of money. People loving the stimulus check coming today. I see the euphoria, the excitement. Chef Roberto, who is a longtime viewer, sent me a private message saying, thank you, LA. I'm so excited. You, I was worried, he said, Chef Roberto, because I had no update in the IRS tool that my $14 stimulus check came. I finally saw a pending deposit for Wednesday. It's available now. That was a message he sent right before the time of this recording. See his level of excitement for $14. Well, imagine if you had that same check for six months. Every month, $14. It would change a lot of people's lives. This is how the stimulus package would work. The bill would start in the House and go to the Senate, but it needs to go by reconciliation. Reconciliation means no Republican would be involved in the vote of the bill. Guess what? No Republican wants to give a stimulus check, let alone $12,000 of stimulus checks. If it went by reconciliation, it would go to the Senate and then during the two-day event called the Votorama, those Democratic senators would amend the bill and put in those monthly stimulus checks. What's going on? 21 of 50 Democrats who lead the Senate, including Bernie Sanders and Ron Wyden, have said that they're going to put in monthly stimulus checks when the bill lands in the Senate. And they are demanding that to happen. This is a reality that is all likely to ensue. The only thing that would erode this is if the President of the United States thinks that he can do this by bipartisanship with the Republicans. That could erode the progress. But the other thing that could erode the whole process is the following. If the bill doesn't get to the Senate soon enough, what am I talking about? I'll explain those details in a second. This is a huge element across the board. But what's important to understand is that people want to give you multiple stimulus checks every month. The question is, how does that formulate? I'll answer that question and also give you two surprises 
for $1,400 stimulus checks coming this Wednesday, which you've not heard before. Stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Evenings LA. How are you? I'm in the live chat. Say hi. How are you? <laughs> it's a big night. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. There's a lot of money that's available for you and a lot more money coming up later in this video. Yes. So stay with me to the end because I have a lot of money coming up for you in this video. Also, like this video. It really helps in the algorithm ranking. And if you've not become a member, you need to because, boy, for stimulus about to hit and those standalone bills that could pay you a lot of money. The member link is in the top of the chat and also the pinned comment. This is what you need to know about those surprise bits for, for, stimul for third stimulus. That $1,400 third stimulus, when you go to the IRS tool, may reveal nothing. What should you know? Well, number one, sometimes the tool just doesn't work. 50% of the viewers, the tool doesn't work. But viewers have now revealed not one, but two hacks, and I have a third for you. The first hack that Margie de delivered to viewers' this channel works for nearly 8 out of 10 viewers. Go to the IRS tool and type in the address in all capitals. Yes, all capital letters. Second hack came from AJ on Mornings LA. He said, pull your most recent check that you've gotten from Treasury or Social Security and look at how it's typed and type it exactly the same way into the toolbox, letter by letter, abbreviation, capitalization, all the same way. And the third hack comes from me. If you file tax returns, look at your most recent tax return and look at the way in which you typed your address on the tax return. Look at the abbreviations, the punctuations, and similar, and do it exactly those ways. Those three hacks may give you the details you've never seen. Also, Tomorrow's Tuesday, and a lot of banks will show penny deposits you did not have before. And sometimes, if you're not set up for penny deposits, you can reach out to your bank to get those alerts. Go to your bank or call them up to see if there's something pending for Wednesday. Meantime, there's a lot of money under third stimulus, which is about to go live. I'll be going over that in a second. But today, the press secretary addressed questions about what is in the third stimulus package and whether or not there'll be pushback from Joe Manchin and others about that corporate tax rate. Let's listen to what the press secretary had to say about the fourth stimulus package and pushback already ensuing from her own party. Country that are the backbone of this country. The president disagrees. But with all that being said, he is welcomes their ideas, hopes he puts them for hopes they put them forward, and he looks forward to having conversations with members of both parties about how to address uh, the long outdated effort to uh, update our infrastructure. And then on management, is the White House open to reducing the corporate tax rate? Well, first, the president felt it was responsible to propose a way to pay for his proposal. That's exactly what he did. He knows some members think it's too big, some think it's too too small. Uh, frankly, there have been folks who have come out on both sides uh, 
which we fully expected. He knows that some will come forward with different ways to pay for this package, and some may have views that it shouldn't be paid for at all. So we fully expect that from Senator Manchin and other members, and we expect uh, the question of how to pay for the package, if we should pay for the package, to be part of the discussion moving forward. So the White House is open to that conversation. We're, we're open to hearing ideas and proposals from members, and we encourage them to put them forward. Okay. And then on uh, immigration, uh among the concerns that this poses for viewers is the obvious. The longer it delays, the more issue at hand. Three things are happening. One, the economy is booming. And if the economy booms too much, people want to, will not want to give a stimulus check. You want this bill in the Senate as fast as possible. Because with 8 million jobs missing and 1 million generated in the month of March, the question is, going forward, are the jobs going to be restored in eight months or four months? If they're restored in four months, you don't want the president talking to the Republicans too long or to Joe Manchin too long. You want the bill to the Senate as fast as possible. This is the calculation at hand. If you're on SSI or SSDI, this is you. If you got a third stimulus check, this is you. If you have gotten a first or second stimulus check, this is you. Everyone would get a stimulus check reoccurring, whether you're an adult dependent or a child, whether you're a single individual or a married couple. The check amounts remain unclear, but would likely, according to insiders, be $1,400 or $2,000 to the end of the year. $8,400 or $12,000, this is incredible sums of money. And if it sounds like it's too much, let me give you the comparison. It's not. The president quietly has been talking about extending the child tax credit, child care credit, for 18 years meaning that if the child's newly born, all the way up to age 18, they'll get $300 a month, which is $64,000. If the president's willing to spend $64,000 on one person, then he's certainly willing to spend $8,000 on that person right now. Coming up later is a video from Dr. Fauci and more from Dr. Walensky. But who do you think is the Easter Bunny? <laughs> I'd love to hear your comments. More about that in a second. But here's what you need to know when we're talking about that fourth stimulus package. The fourth stimulus package really is dependent upon one major factor, jobs. Jobs and unemployment. Unemployment and jobs are two singularly almost identical items, but they report at different times. The unemployment numbers are reported every Thursday, and the jobs are reported once a month. And so it takes us a month to know the impact of this economy month to month. And wow, if we come into April and we see 2 million jobs generated this month, the question is if that growth will go even faster or stay stagnant. If it stays at 2 million jobs for the month of April, four months means this economy could be rebounded at the time at which this bill is about to land in the Senate. You want this bill in the Senate as soon as possible because ultimately, a rebounded economy will not get the support of Democrats to give stimulus checks. It'll also cost you a stimulus check every month. More about that later in this video, but let me turn to the new concern about the growing cons virus strains across the country. Dr. Fauci was asked today if he thought that getting multiple doses is better than a single dose, and he said yes. Let's hear what else he said during today's briefing. Dr. Walensky, I'd like to spend the next couple of minutes addressing a frequently asked question and concern regarding the impact of COVID-19 disease in pregnant women on the women themselves and on the fetus. So clearly, COVID-19 in pregnancy is associated, as I'm going to show you in a moment, with adverse outcomes for mother and baby. And one asked the question, what about the safety and importance of vaccination in that setting. Next slide. A few months ago in November 2020, uh, MMWR, the CDC did an analysis of about 400,000 women with symptomatic COVID-19. And though the numbers were small, it became clear then that there was very likely an increased risk among pregnant women versus non-pregnant women for adverse outcomes of the pregnancy itself and for them as pregnant women if they contracted the disease COVID-19, as shown by the risk ratios on this slide. Also talking today was Dr. Linsky about how social distancing remains an issue for travel and leisure. 
among other issues, were the following statements she delivered here. Let's listen in. Please continue to hang in there and to continue to do the things that we know prevent the spread of the virus. If we all continue to wear a well-fitting mask, physically distance, and get vaccinated, America can and will get out of this pandemic. We can meet this moment if we keep doing our part. Everyone working together, getting vaccinated as soon as possible is how we can turn the corner. I wanna briefly describe now a report in today's MMWR that describes what can happen when we do not follow proper mitigation strategies, when everyone is not fully vaccinated. The Illinois Department of Public Health and staff from a local public health department evaluated a COVID-19 outbreak associated with a bar in a rural area of Illinois. The bar accommodates about 100 people and held an opening event indoors in February. While table spacing and signs encouraged physical distancing and masking, people who attended the event reported that mask use was inconsistent and that six feet of distance was not maintained. The evaluation found 46 COVID-19 cases linked to this event. Of those, 26 were patrons, three were bar staff. 17 secondary cases occurred among contacts of people who attended the opening and got COVID-19. 12 were household contacts, three were long-term care facility contacts, and two were school-related contacts. Shocking details across the board. But also really surprising is what the president is anticipating to do with forced stimulus. Let's cut back to forced stimulus. In that press secretary's address, the president said that he's willing to talk to Republicans to devise a plan. But why? Viewers of this channel don't understand why the president would talk to the Republicans. When on Friday, Mitch McConnell said he's going to do everything he can to kill the bill. Mitch McConnell doesn't want to, doesn't want to raise one dollar for the tar corporate tax rate. I'm going to fight every step I can because I think this is the wrong prescription for American people. That's Mitch McConnell. And even the compromise from Roy Blunt, who you're looking at right now, was rejected by the president yesterday. The president's off counteroffer from Roy Blunt, if there's an easy way to win here for the White House, it would be to take the win, which is just do the infrastructure bill, which is about 30 percent. And that would include the roads and bridges and ports and airports and maybe an even underground water system and broadband. You'll still have 30 percent of this entire package. And that will come at about $615 billion. I think you can do that and do some innovative things to get this done, says Blunt. This was rejected by the president. Here's what you need to know. If this sounds sort of obvious, it should. What's the president doing? It doesn't make any sense. The Republicans have two positions. One, take out all the corporate tax rates that you're trying to change and all the, all the taxes. And two, also take out all the non-infrastructure items. The president doesn't want to do either of those items. So why would the president spend one breath trying to do this by talking to the Republicans over the next few weeks? The message is loud and clear. Ultimately, the only thing that gets you multiple stimulus checks is reconciliation by Democrats into the Senate. The faster this bill gets to the Senate, by reconciliation, which takes two months for those senators to amend the bill by the voterama in the, the final days of the bill in the Senate, the faster those multiple stimulus checks go out. If you're on SSI or SSDI and have wondered about the $2,400 a month, the $2,400, this is six times that amount of money. Remember, that 20% increase that other people may have been telling you is not for you nine out of 10 times. It's up to 20% for some people on benefits. Most don't qualify for the 20% increase. Also, the new benchmark, CPIE instead of COLA, the president can do that by executive order. In fact, the Social Security Administration can do it without even, without even executive order. Doesn't need a bill. So that still can be done in addition to this. Hazard pay? less than these nums, nums of, sums of money, and FPC retro, a lot less sums than the sum of money. This is an enormous amount of money when you look at it, and that ultimately $12,000, if it's based upon a $2,000 a month or $8,400 if it's based upon $1,400 a month, is an enormous sum of money. And this is where Purple Power needs to push. Purple Power is back in full force, baby. Here we go. We are ready to push once again. And the push is the following. 
take this video, share it on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, hashtag MSC. Who do you tag? All Democratic senators, all Democratic House members. They want to do this. The message should be loud and clear. Do the bill now. Reconciliation. Don't wait. We need this relief now. Don't do a bill that goes to the Senate floor in August or September, October. Do it now. Now, while the Speaker of the House and the leader, Schumer, both want to get this bill done far before any of those timelines, my concern is the faster, the sooner. Because if the economy rebounds faster and across the land we see this country reopening and we see treasure and leisure, tra travel and leisure increasing those incredible numbers of jobs across the country, then the stimulus may not be supported as much by Democrats. You want that big money to land. Meantime, for the countless viewers across the country that have tuned into this channel and wondered when that stimulus check would land, congratulations. The next 48 hours is going to be a really big time. I'm excited for you that you have stayed positive, focused, and motivated. And with that, we, as we go into a big night, I want you to understand that the next turn around the corner is third stimulus. There's a lot of money available for you in third stimulus. And while over the next few days you may hear a lot of chatter about corporate tax rate and other items, what's important to understand is that when four stimulus lands, don't ride off into the sunset because there's a lot of other money for you under third stimulus. And as a family, I'm going to ensure you get that money right away. And with that, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It's birthday month on the channel. Let's try to do Let's try to get to 400,000 subscribers. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, and I'll see you next on Hazard Bay in 90 minutes. Thank you for joining me on Evening's Ally. <laughs>